Hello everyone. In the last two videos, I discussed one, the most important problem with the watchtowers teaching about the faithful and discreet slave, that problem of the massive lie. They are telling lies, lies, a multiple of lies being told on Christ. That he came in 1914, that he came in 1918, that he did an inspection for nearly a year, that he appointed them, that he approved the false things they were teaching in 1919. Vicious lies on the Lord himself. Then, in the last video, I discussed the organization's view of women. In this video, I combined them to look at something that did not dawn on me. Another thing that makes another watchtower statement difficult to believe. I'm going to read this statement again. I'll take it directly from a video that was recently done. Thus, in the October to November 1881 issue of the magazine, C.T. Russell stated, We believe that every member of this body of Christ is engaged in the blessed work either directly or indirectly, of giving meat in due season to the household of faith. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Is it not that little flock of consecrated servants who are faithfully carrying out their consecration vows, the body of Christ, and is it not the whole body, individually and collectively, giving the meat in due season to the household of faith, the great company of believers? Blessed is the servant, the whole body of Christ, whom his Lord, when he has come, Greek Elthon, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods." Over a decade later, however, Brother Russell's wife publicly expressed the idea that Russell himself was the faithful and wise servant. The view that she voiced concerning the identity of the faithful servant came to be generally held by the Bible students for some 30 years. The organization continued to state Brother Russell did not reject their view, but he personally avoided making such an application of the text. Oh, really? Russell is, is believed to be by the organization, the faithful and wise servant. Russell is telling them that it is the entire household of faith that is the faithful and wise servant. How can Russell <laughs> how can Russell hold a view that is different from the organization's view and not reject that view? That doesn't make sense. You can't have it both ways. Russell either accepted the view that he was the faithful and wise servant, or he rejected the view and thought that it was the entire household. Which one will it be, Jehovah's Witnesses? Do you really believe that Russell was so double-minded that he believed that the faithful and wise servant is himself? He doesn't reject the view that it is he himself who is a servant while teaching that the servant is everybody. But there is something even more profound about that. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. Look at the organization's view of women. So Russell is the faithful and wise servant. 
That view is presented to them by Russell's wife, the woman. The woman who is not authorized to teach. Is it that in those days women were authorized to teach? But even so, you believe, you believe the wife of the person you believe to be the servant, the faithful and wise servant. This faithful and wise servant is Russell. The faithful and wise servant is telling you that you are the faithful and wise servant. It is all of us. It is the entire household of faith that is providing spiritual food. So the servant is telling you that you are the servant, but you are saying, no, we do not believe you. We believe your wife. And the wife's view is held for some 30 years. What did Russell teach about 1919? Did Russell not know that the slave was going to be appointed in 1919? Where did this doctrine of the appointment of the slave in 1919 come from? Now that's a whole other can of worms to be opened up. But I'm to, I just want to close with that little point. How did they come to accept the view of the slave's wife over the slave? Which of those questions that I asked previously can a Jehovah's Witness kindly come forward and answer for us? And please, don't just answer. Please make it make sense. Thank you. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Mm -hmm.